Alright, so everyone's still confused and wondering why Dev Sisters have given us the magic candy for Wallberry, but let's get into it guys and let's see what kind of skill as well as uh, effects that has been added with Wallberry Cookie's magic candy. And it says right over here, Royal Bodyguard. Uh, that's going to be the same. As the Royal Bodyguard, Wildberry Cookie provides an HP shield for the entire team upon using his skill. Additionally, Wildberry Cookie will gather up his power for a stronger final blow. All right, here we go. Very, very simple for a uh, Magic Candy effect. HP shield blocks damage equal to 3% of max HP for 5 seconds. 3% only? Final blow extra damage, 175%. What? And it says that uh, plus 10 all ally crit resist plus 10% at 20, 15%, and 30, 20%. It, it, it's a mistake, right? It has to be a mistake. There, there is no way that this is only 3%, right? I'm so confused, guys. What What is the purpose? I want to know what it is. I don't I don't even think this is going to bring Walberry Cookie into the meta. I mean, sure, yes, Walberry Cookie is already pretty darn decent, uh, but as as a candidate inside of the top arena, like amongstside Hollerberry, amongstside, you know, Pattaya right now, I I don't think so. All right, let's uh, try it out level 10. All right, let's try out level 10 and see see how it is. All right, let's go. 10-31 with full searing raspberry. I don't even know if this is a, supposed to be a counter to a one-shot comp. I don't think that is 3%. I think that is 30%, guys. Unless those enemies are like the super, super weak. I guess we'll find out here. Wallberry so strong though. Holy crap. No, final blow damage is a hundred and wow, look at Wallberry's punch damage. Jeez. I mean, damn though, Wallberry just some sick damage when you put some saving raspberry on him. So, with this, I guess we can test out a little bit more of the uh, HP sh shield thing. Okay, never mind. So, HP shield is being provided to everybody. Alright. So, I guess that was a little bit of a, you know, we just couldn't see it fast enough. And seems... Okay, there's... That's that's HP shield of, uh, of our Snapdragon. Alright, so let's look at it again. Snapdragons, it took about a good quarter of things, all right, for Snapdragons. All right, let's see what berries now. Oh, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely not 30% with that. So, I guess it is 3% then, all right, because look at, look at the HP shield of Snapdragon. It's around 17.3% or 17.5%, and it definitely takes less, uh, you know, down than what Wildberry's shield is. So... I guess it is not a mistake. What's the point of creating this magic candy? All right, here we go. This is going to be uh, Wallberry tested out inside of the arena with plus 10 magic candy, right? Full solid omino course with Hollerberry. So that's already a lot of crit resist from Hollerberry as well as Wallberry now with the magic candy. All right, so let's go. All right, here we go. So there's... There's the extra HP shield. I will not falter. But definitely it's super tanky. I'm sure Wildberry is surviving, but start is shutting down the entire buff again. There's the crit down, wall down, damage down. And a Wallberry. Okay. The kingdom will live on. Right, so now we're just using 
Wadbury instead of a Taya. But now the thing about this kind of comp is that you lose out on the extra damage that Pattaya is able to do. Um, and you really have to rely on Sherbet to do all the damage or somebody in the middle to do all the damage for you. And then hope that Wildberry survives until the very end and is able to do something with the extra final blow damage. But the thing is, if you're going to verse a comp right now inside of the arena, which is going to be filled with double healers, then Wildberry is just not going to do enough. I mean, yes, you will definitely take less damage, but if you're now going into a comp against Stardust, then that's going to be another problem in itself. I think we might be able to win this because we uh, we have Sherbet. That's the only thing that I'm going to guess that might happen. But the Wallberry damage is not going to be like insanely high either. Oh, wow. We still might die. All right, Wildberry's still alive. Let's see if Wildberry could do something. Final blow. Did almost no damage, I think. Wildberry had the whistle buff too, guys. Why would I use Wildberry in this comp if I can use Capsaicin or Pattaya? Maybe I wasted my uh, thing. I should have maybe spent it on t night Conclusion to this magic candy is very simple. Don't waste your resources on this thing. It's not worth it. Wallberry is already good enough without this magic candy that you don't need to spend a little bit extra or a lot extra, never mind. A lot extra to get like a little, little bonus. It's not gonna, it's not gonna affect, affect it much inside of the arena. Um... Yes, it might help a little bit out inside of the world exploration here and there, but this 5.2% is meaningless. Uh, pure vanilla already gives you, um, I don't know, how much does pure vanilla give you? I forgot. Pure vanilla gives you 20%, all right, for 10 seconds. Snapdragon gives you 13.5% for 5 seconds. I don't feel like there's a, there's a point of using wallberries yes it might go a little bit higher at level 30 all right definitely because the only thing that scales off of the magic candy level is the shield so if i add 0 0.24 uh to 20 times then it maxes out at level 30 it's gonna max out at 10 percent so not worth it guys it's very clear right now that Unless they fix the uh, percentage here or add something here, I, I don't think this is going to be any good. This is one of those magic candies that's very disappointing. Uh, and it's honestly on the very same, like close to the scale of what Milk Cookie's magic candy was. It, it really is. All right. So, yeah, that's my conclusion right now. Unless something wild happens and somebody is able to, you know, come up with the valid reason why this match candy would be actually good.